Hi, and thanks very much for your interest in this talk. My name is Dr. Adam Booth. I am the academic project leader of Geophysics Bootcamp. And in the next few minutes, I'm just going to give you a brief overview of what you can expect to learn as a participant on what we think is a really unique training course that we call the Geophysics Bootcamp. So again, just by way of introduction to the project, thanks for your interest already. I'm going to give you a quick tour of what you can expect to learn, and if it appeals, then you'll find out how to apply and how to find out more. So what is Geophysics Bootcamp? In summary, it's a training exercise in geophysical data acquisition, one that we think is really unique worldwide. Specifically, it's a practical application of theory. We don't really do classroom teaching on Bootcamp. We'll take you into the field and let you put your classroom learning into practice. You'll find out how and why geophysical surveys are designed in the way they are. You can see here there's a bunch of people who are actually applying geophysical theory in practice. They're installing some geophones along one of our survey lines. You'll get familiarity with industrial health and safety protocols. Now, this might sound like a relatively mundane thing, but if you want a job in industry, then these health and safety protocols will become fundamental to your everyday working practice. But on a more fun note, it's a team building exercise in what we hope is an enjoyable learning environment. Everyone who comes to boot camp says they have a great time and they make some great friends. Where is boot camp held? So for the last two years, we've held boot camp on Winters Hall's Emlikheim oil field, and we're really grateful uh, for the continuing support of, of Winters Hall, allowing us access to their operational site. A quick map for you. You can see Northern Europe here, we've got the UK, and there is the Emlikheim oil field, close to the town of Emlikheim in Northern Germany. A couple of overviews of the site. This is Winters Hall's facility there, and it's a really nice blend of countryside and heavy industry. Um, it, it's really nice to see, you know, it's farmland. This is how to integrate a, a heavy oil industry site with, um, you know, this, this pastoral idyllic scene. It's a very nice place to work. Okay, so what systems do we offer on boot camp? What we think is our real showcase centerpiece is this piece of equipment here. Um, we do a reflection seismic acquisition over the Emily Kime oil field using a vibrator truck as provided by uh, the company DMT. Um, you see the, the vibrator truck here, and as a participant in camp, you might very well get to have a drive of it and uh, actually operate the thing. Um, as part of that reflection survey, you'll be involved with the deployment of, of the geophones. Uh, you'll also be involved with overseeing and managing the actual uh, acquisition. You'll be able to see the data come in, and we have a few line saboteurs who come along and disconnect geophones, and when you're in that recording truck, you'll be able to see it and be able to monitor the whole acquisition. You, you are the acquisition manager. Additionally, we have a few other systems. We have gravity surveys. We, we measure the, the Earth's gravitational field over the Emily Kime oil field, and in the data, we can see the structure down there. We also do a near-surface seismic refraction survey. Um, you can see here there's a student um, about to make some seismic waves uh, with a 14-pound sledgehammer. Um, we also have an accelerated weight drop source, and you'll be able to compare those two systems. We're also generously sponsored by Fairfield Nodal, and they give us some wireless technology. So in addition to all this standard practice kind of stuff, you're also getting some experience with the real cutting edge systems. Also, we have ground penetrating radar and electrical and uh, electromagnetic methods. Here you can see the ground penetrating radar being applied at an archeological site. We do also do some oil field infrastructure with it. There are some shallow buried pipes at the area, it being a heavy, ind heavy industrially developed site. Um, and we need to map out the locations of those pipes before we go and stick the vibrosized truck on top of it, just to avoid damaging any of the Vinters Hall's infrastructure. Either side of the acquisitions are these two other important features. Um, before you do any surveys, uh, you go and get a geological understanding of the area. And this is provided by our colleagues from TNO. Um, there are some local exposures of reservoir rock. This is specifically looking at an outcrop of uh, the Bentheimer sandstone that forms the main reservoir in, in the Emlikheim field. You'll also get a tour of Winters Hall's uh, production facility. What they do there is um, a whole series of um, enhanced oil recovery methods. So again, you've seen some real cutting edge technology there. You'll also have uh, data processing sessions, as you can see here in the evening. Um, we do look at the data we acquire. We QC it, just as you would in an industrial field crew. And by the end of the week, we hope that you're able to uh, interpret the data in terms of some uh, basic structures uh, that you'll have expected to see uh, from the geological trip. 
Now, aside from learning objectives, our number one priority is actually safety. We don't want any injury, we don't want any damage to property, we don't want damage to the environment on boot camp. So your safety and your behavior on site really is paramount. Now, as part of the camp, you'll receive the equipment that's ably modeled by our um, health and safety uh, director here. Um, you'll receive a hard hat, you'll receive safety glasses, a high visibility vest, and safety boots. Now, all that is mandatory for working on the oil field. What we require you to bring is suitable clothing for work in a range of uncontrollable weather conditions. Now, the weather in Northern Europe uh, this time of year is rather temperamental. At the last camp, we had one week of really nice weather, and then the second week, we had some hurricane force winds come in. We had hail and we had rain. Throughout most of that, the work carried on. So you must bring waterproofs, you must bring sun lotion. You're as likely to need both during the week. So please do come prepared for work. Now, who is eligible for boot camp? The project is aimed at postgraduate geophysics students and young professionals with, say, one or two years of industry experience, and they would like to boost their understanding of geophysical acquisitions. Our prerequisites are that you know some geophysical theory. You don't need field experience, but we're not actually going to teach you the background theory to the, to, say, seismic methods on the camp. We will expect you to understand that already. We expect you to adhere to our safety policies. When you get all this safety equipment, it's not kind of a costume party. It is actually a legal requirement that you do wear it, and we do ask you to adhere to those policies that are in place. But we also expect an enthusiasm and a willingness to learn, and we really hope that we can provide you a program that allows you to do that. Okay, so if boot camp sounds appealing and you want some more information, then here's some suggested places where you can go and look for it. Look online. You're already in the area of the AGE's Learning Geoscience pages, and there are specific boot camp websites, so go and search. There's also articles. Um, the last few boot camps have been reported in the pages of First Break, which is the EAGE's geoscience magazine. Um, there's some more comprehensive reports and many more photographs from the, from the exercise than what I can give you in this brief presentation. If you want to apply, uh, the email address there, bootcamp at eage.org. Um, we look forward to hearing from you. Uh, whether you're a student who's interested for your own purposes, whether you're a young professional and you want to find out whether it's really appropriate for you, or indeed whether you're a member of industry and you're interested in sponsoring the camp. And finally, I'd just like to thank you for your interest. And I should leave you here with um, these companies and institutions and universities who've previously sponsored the camps. Um, take a look. These are the people you're going to be engaging with on Boot Camp, and uh, we hope to see you there in the near future. Thank you.